guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, for my returning subscribers, it has been a minute since the last time I made a video. Maybe like two months. Um, I know I always say this, but I'm so busy. Life is so busy with two little babies. I have one joining me because she refuses to nap. So if you hear little baby noises in the background, try to ignore it. Um, I'm trying to kind of vamp up the studio. Hopefully the lighting's better with the lights. And I have a mic. Hopefully it's not too muffled. Um, the more I do this, I'll get more used to it. Um, so with that being said, let's just get into it. Um, my last video, if you saw it, was um, I called it a quick little burner. It seemed to be pretty successful and good positive feedback on it. And let's be honest, 20, 30 minutes is all I can really give. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be a quick little burn, about 20, 30 minutes, hopefully. Um, let's get started. So we're going to start on one red spring. So this is one heavy spring. And I like to work at an intermediate, advanced level. All levels are welcome. But let's go. One red spring, and we're going to be kneeling, facing the back of our reformer. Hands or forearms. I'm going to go forearms on my shoulder blocks here, because I like to keep my spine nice in the line. So I'm gonna place my heel on the bar. Before we get started, let's check our posture. Sucking our stomach in towards our spine. Don't let it hang, suck it in. Make sure your knee is tracking right under your hip. And we're gonna place our heel on that bar and we're just gonna press all the way out, get full extension. And make sure that knee that's kneeling stays underneath your waist. You're not pushing out like this. You want it to track right under your hips and back in. So if this is too light for you, and you like strong and heavy, you can add another light spring. But I like to stay here, because it's not always about being heavier, okay? Pilates isn't just necessarily heavy springs to make it harder. It's about slow and controlled moves. So pressing out and in. And really think about pressing fully out, and then resist that carriage coming in, pressing into that heel, coming in as much as you press it, press into it, pressing out, good. Slow and control, keep your hips square to that carriage. Controlling in the core, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one, come all the way in. So we're gonna stay there, we're just gonna place our ball of our foot onto the foot bar. And we're working into that right leg still if you're staying with me. So ball of the foot. And then we're gonna press that carriage all the way out and same thing. So just pressing all the way out and in. Press through those shoulders, don't slouch into them. Getting full extension with that leg. Good job guys, slow and controlled. Wins the race. Out and in. So that Glute and hamstring should really start being firing up now. You should really start to feel it. Slow and controlled. So that's why if you added that heavier, sp another spring, you might have burned out quick, quicker. Let's go for three, two, last one. We're gonna stay out there. Keep that leg extended. Let's come up onto our hands if you're not there yet. And now we're gonna keep our leg extended and we're gonna stay in that nice long spine. And now that kneeling knee, we're just gonna lift it up, round that spine, feel that core, come back into a plank, hold it there and lift. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you come down. Exhale. Sucking that core in towards your spine. Let's go for five. Feel that core work hard. Four. Try to keep that carriage still. Three, two, last one. Stay there, put both feet on that foot bar if you can. And if you want, just hold this plank. But if you're with me, straighten out that spine and press that carriage out and in. Staying right underneath your shoulders when you come in. Draw that core closer to your spine. Don't let it hang. Don't keep your butt in the air. Nice long spine. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and last one, back down, both knees come on down. Whew, great job guys. We're gonna try to make this quick. Okay, so we're gonna go right into that other side. So now we're gonna go into my left leg. 
So I'm gonna start with my heel on that bar. Make sure my knee is right under my hip. It's not too forward and it's not too back. Tracks right under your hip. Come right back down to my forearms here and I'm just gonna press that carriage all the way out, getting full extension with my leg and in. And remember, keeping that knee underneath you, you're not pulling it forward and you're going into this lunge look. You just wanna keep it right underneath your hips. Out and in, slow and controlled. Press through those shoulders. Suck that core in towards your spine. Keep your hips squared to the carriage. And resist that carriage coming in as much as it, uh, resist it coming in. And press into that bar as much as you press into it pushing out. Think about pressing into it as you come in. Really firing up that glute and hamstring. You got it, let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in, stay there. We're just gonna walk our ball of the foot on there. Same thing like last leg, or right leg. And then let's press all the way out. Make sure the ball of the foot's on there. And in, same concept, full extension, and press into that bar as you come in. What is it? Mia's really excited. <laughs> Good guys, control that core. Press out and in. Feel that glute and hamstring firing up. Don't let that tummy hang. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna stay out there. Bring our hands up onto that, the shoulder blocks if you're not there already. Hold that nice plank, nice long spine here. Now we're gonna lift our right knee off the carriage and we're gonna round that spine, sucking our core in towards our spine and back to a nice strong long spine, keeping that knee hovered. And lift, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Try to keep that carriage still, exhale, inhale. Let's go for three, two, and last one here, guys. Both feet onto that um, foot bar. If you can hold it, just hold that plank. If you wanna come with me, saw the arms out and in, bringing them in right into under the shoulders. Nice strong core here. Stabilize the hips. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, and one. Both knees down. Ooh, and slowly come on down. Great job, guys. Roll out the shoulders and those wrists. We're gonna go right into it. So we're gonna do a spring change. So I'm gonna take my heavy spring off, and I'm gonna put um, a medium spring, which is one blue spring. For me, that's a lighter spring because my reformer only has heavy springs and one blue spring. So when I say light spring, it's still the medium spring, blue spring. So anyways, one blue spring, we're gonna come on up, and now you're gonna be kneeling facing the camera or facing me. So this is going to be, I'm gonna grab the short strap if you have the option, long or short, I'm gonna grab the short strap, and this is my right arm. So I'm gonna grab it with my right hand. I'm gonna place my hand in between the shoulder blocks onto the um, headrest, but my hips are gonna stay square towards the camera. I'm gonna come on up. So nice triceps here, okay? So your palm faces in towards you. Try not to rotate in. Open up that chest and you're going to pull open, okay? So get full extension out and in. Perfect. If this is too easy and you wanna add on to this, let's go ahead and extend that right leg out. So now I have my right leg extended, kneeling on my left leg, and I'm going to extend and in. So a lot of core here on top of working the um, triceps. So we have to balance. Make sure you have a slight bend in your resting arm, your resting elbow, so you're not hyperextending. Good job, guys. Point those toes, nice, strong, pretty legs here. Pull out and in. Let's go for five, four, 
Breathe. Three, two, last one. Keep it overhead here, okay? Tension in that strap. And you're just gonna lower and lift that leg. Tap that bar and lift. Hit those hip abductors. Five, nice and strong. Four, you got it, guys. Three, two, and one. Both knees in and come on in. Whew, great. Put that strap down. We're gonna stay on that blue spring. We're just gonna rotate fading, seeing the back of our reformer again. Hi. Bring your knees up against the shoulder blocks and use your rails to carry you, pull you all the way back towards your pegs. Since I'm on that lighter spring, I'm going to just use one arm here. So I'm gonna grab the peg with just my right arm. I'm gonna place my left arm behind my back. Find a nice flat back here. I'm not scrunching, I'm hunching in. Don't arch the booty. Try to tuck the tailbone and let's pull in and slowly come on down. And also stop with a slight bend in the elbow. Don't hyperextend and pop that shoulder out. Keep it nice and in line. So you want it to glide against your rib cage. Use your breath, slow and controlled here guys. Working into that back, hitting those traps, rhomboids, everything. Getting a nice sculpted back Working on our upper body strength. <laughs> I know I can definitely use it. Use your breath, exhale. <sighs> Inhale as you release. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Let's do a couple more, stay strong. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And one. Why don't you just grab, stay out there, grab the peg with your other arm and just allow your carriage to come home, holding on to both those pegs and just decompress that spine. Take a nice quick stretch before we go on to that other side. And you can drop your chest and let your butt come up in the air. Nice little child pose. And then slowly let your carriage dock back home. Cool. So let's go ahead. Go right into that other side, so my back's gonna face you guys. And now this is my left arm. I'm gonna reach over and grab my short strap. I'm gonna keep my knees and hips squared to the wall in front of me, placing my right, <laughs> placing my right hand onto my um, headrest, and I'm gonna bring it overhead. Remember, open up those shoulders. And then let's pull out. And in. Keep your palm facing you. Get full extension overhead. And if you're with me with that leg extension, let's go ahead and extend that left leg. And extend. Slow and controlled here, guys. Nice, strong core. Mia. And out. Find a spot on that wall if you have that leg extended. Slight bend in that resting arm, elbow. Good. Let's go for four, <laughs> three, two, and last one. Keep it up and just lower and lift that left leg. Keep those hips squared. Don't roll into it. Let's go for five, four, three, two and one dropping both knees and slowly coming on out of that good put that um, strap down and let's go right into those shoulders and the back of the arms so we're going to use our hands walking the rails grabbing the left we're going to grab our left um sorry this is kind of loose i should have tightened that um, left peg, right hand comes behind our back. Nice, strong spine, long spine, sorry. Tuck the tailbone, don't arch the butt. Tuck it in, control it in the core from head to tail. And now let's pull in. In, and then remember, keeping a slight bend in that elbow as you extend out, don't hyperextend. Slow and controlled here, guys. Think about your scapula gliding across your rib cage. Elbow stays narrow. Whew. 
can feel this on my left side really like a lot faster. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Grab the peg with your right hand. So both hands on the pegs. Allow your hips to fall back, letting the carriage go home, but holding on, decompressing that spine, coming into a nice little child's pose, allowing the shoulders to come up. And deep breath. And come on up, and let's slowly let that dock home. So good, guys. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do a spring change. We're gonna go one red again. So take that light spring off and put that heavy spring on. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our straps and we're gonna be kneeling facing the front of our reformer, okay? So you have two options here. You can kneel, you can sit back towards your hips, I mean, sorry, your heels, or sit onto your bottoms, whatever you're comfortable with. And also we're on that heavy spring, so kneeling is going to make it even heavier. So I'm going to actually switch to my long straps here because I am going to come up kneeling. So when you're ready, let's come up kneeling. If you're with me, we're going to go right into hug a tree. So think about nice strong core. Think of a beach ball in front of your arms. You have a nice round beach ball, okay? Pleading with your pinkies rather than your thumbs and out. Try not to come all the way out here. We're stopping right in our peripheral vision. Nice, strong arms, taking the L, our shoulders out of our ears. Keep going, guys. Breathe. Exhale as you make that circle. Inhale back. Good. Let's go for four, three, two, and one, come on down. Holding those straps, if you're kneeling with me, I'm gonna walk up and kind of come towards the end of my reformer, so I'm at the edge. I'm gonna hinge forward here. We're gonna go right into biceps. Hinging forward, I'm gonna keep my arms glued to my side. Hi. To my side, so I'm not gonna, about right here, okay? So we're not gonna start from here side a little behind you, hinge forward, strong core here so we don't go face first into that well, and we're just going to bend the elbow and extend. Sit back towards those heel a little, and you'll get more, a little bit of more balance. Good job, guys. Nice, strong core. Keep those elbows glued towards your side. Good. Let's count it out. Let's go for 10, 9, nice, slow and controlled, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, slowly come on down. So good, put your straps down. We're gonna drop our foot bar all the way down. I'm gonna keep that one heavy spring on and I'm gonna pop my headrest up. We're gonna come and lay down onto our back. So slowly come on down, grabbing our short straps if you have the option. Let's bring our legs to tabletop. As we bring our legs to tabletop, make sure you find that nice imprinted spine. Remember, controlled in the core here, not their lower back. Make sure your low back meets that carriage. From here, let's just go ahead and bring our arms straight down and up. Nice strong, I mean nice L shape with the legs. I'm guilty of it too. I kind of always push them forward. Try to keep them right, your knee tracking over your hip. Good. We're going to go into a progression here, so you could do what you're comfortable with and wherever you are in your practice, out and in. So if you want to, stay here. Let's go ahead and bring our head up into a nice little flexion and come on down, so a nice little ab crunch. <sighs> Control it in the core, guys. 
activate that transverse abdominus, so our, our girdle-like um, core muscles, our deepest core muscles. Good. If you like, stay up in flexion as you lower and lift, and let's extend one leg out as we bring our arms down. If this is too much on your head, your neck and shoulders, drop your head. But if you like to stay with me, try to keep up in flexion and just extending out and in. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last one. Extend that leg. Your right leg meets it. And from here, let's open and close those legs. Stay in flexion, nice long arms, point those toes. Fill it in the core, you got it guys. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Bend both knees and come on up, good. Nice little break here. And now we're gonna go into a nice little coordination. So come on up, bring your arms into like little T-Rex arms here, okay? So you want the tension in those straps. You're gonna come up into flexion, extend arms and legs, open, close, bend your knees and your elbows. I'm gonna stay in flexion here, but you can bring your head down. So let's try that again. Come on up, extend everything, open, close, bend the knees and elbows. Extend everything, open, close, Bend the knees and elbows. Stay strong in that core. You got this, guys. Stay strong. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Bring it in and close it down. So good, guys. We are almost there, okay? Let's bring our arms out to a T here, okay? You don't want your shoulders to come past, your arms to come past like your ears. Keep it nice and in line like a bird, okay? Slight bend in those elbows, don't hyperextend, and we're just gonna bring them straight down and up. So find your legs at tabletop, imprint that spine. We'll add on to this. We're just flapping our wings all the way down towards our hips and then coming all the way up not passing our ears, good. Now let's go ahead, bring our head up into flexion. And now we're gonna go and extend both legs out and bend the knees in as the arms come out to that T. So extend everything out and bend it in. Nice strong core here, you got it. If you're feeling this in your back, you need to imprint your spine. You should be feeling this in the core, not your low back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, almost there, last one. We're gonna keep everything extended here. And now we're just gonna scissor kick those legs. Five, four, three, two, and one, bend both knees and come on in. So good, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end with legs and straps. So quickly come on up. We can place our foot bar back all the way up and I'm gonna keep that heavy spring, but I'm gonna add my blue spring onto it. That's just for me. If that's too heavy for you, stay on that heavy spring only. But if you want a little bit more tension, add another spring, a light spring to it. Come back down. You can place your feet onto the foot bar. Let's reach back for our straps, and we're gonna place our feet into those long straps. Once we get into there, I like to think this is a nice cool down stretch for me. I don't really find legs and straps too much of a work. But let's just extend our legs up and down. So straight leg, lower and lift. Feel the back of those legs open up. The glutes, the hamstrings, the calf muscles. This feels so good. Keep your tailbone heavy here. Do not lift it, especially when we lift our legs up to the ceiling. You don't want to lift it. Keep it heavy so you'll feel that nice stretch and pull in the back of the legs. Let's go for three, 
two. And one from here. Let's go right into our leg circle. So get full extension out. Turn your toes out towards the sides of the room and these will be our biggest circles. Okay. Good. And we're gonna go in the opposite direction in two. And one, let's reverse the direction up and around. Good, let's go for three, two, and last one, come on down. Let's just finish it off with some short spine. So drop your head rest. Heels are going to be together, toes apart, starting that first position. And then we're gonna rotate both our feet together, parallel, lifting our legs all the way up to, to the ceiling. Try to dock that carriage from there, using our core to roll all the way up. Good, let that carriage dock home. Once you're there, rolling our feet out to first position again, and then bending our knees all the way in. Push your butt towards that front wall as you roll that spine all the way down and then pulling your feet towards your bottom and pushing out. So you're getting a lot of work here, okay? So as we lift up, we're getting that nice core activation. And then as we bend our legs back in towards our chest, rolling down, massaging that spine, and then filling the hamstrings open up as we pull it down. Good, let's do it one more time. All the way up, use the core to roll all the way up, dock that carriage home, rolling back out to first position, bending the knees in towards your face, and then rolling and massaging that spine back onto the um, carriage, and then pulling in towards our bottom and out. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and just make a diamond with our legs, allowing the straps to kind of just fall onto our chest here. And just taking a nice inhale. And exhale. And then let's roll out of this. So slowly come on out, putting our straps back onto our shoulder blocks and rolling on up. Whew. All right, guys, so good. Great job. I hope you liked that quick little burner. I think it's about 30 minutes. I don't have my Apple Watch. I left it at my mom's this weekend. So um, I'm assuming it's around 30 minutes. Um, I like to keep it full body. I hope you feel like you got a good workout within that 30 minutes for all my mamas out there that requested these. And then for everyone that wants the full body, the 45 to um, an hour workout, um, I promise I'll get back to those as soon as I can and can find the time. In the meantime, enjoy this, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.